Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 207, inspired by NASA and Dr. Seuss. What you're looking at is my new radio that I got off of eBay, and this is a, oops, can't get quite a picture, this is a Tintech kit, model number 1050. Now, I did not put the kit together. I bought this off the off of eBay this week and it was already assembled and installed in this case and the speaker added here the dials added because it, when you get the kit and you got it put together you basically get this front face plate and the controls but no knobs you don't get any knobs you have to supply your own knobs and so the gentleman that built this did a super job and he added the case for it and the speaker with a speaker grill here and it really looks nice and it works nice it's this thing was um, I don't know when he built it but it came out in about 1994-95 is when the kit first came out and it's a regenerative radio which means the design is based on a regenerative feedback circuitry to get amplification. And we're going to try it tonight, see uh, what kind of reception I can get. So let's turn the volume up. I tuned one station already. And of course, condition, con of course, conditions are changing, and uh, I have it tuned to 6115, which is the uh, station out of um, Tennessee, and apparently very close to it is now, which wasn't there 15 minutes ago, the Cuban station. It, it's swamping it out now. See if I can tune it out. Here we go. What is man that you would care for him? Isn't the holy God? I'm king. So it's it's receiving loud and clear. Um, appears to be very sensitive. So it's picking up some stations. Now tonight, I um, I first turned it on about mm, 20 minutes ago. I couldn't get anything. So I turned on my, um, let me zoom out a little bit here. I turned on my 750, which is behind here, and tried tuning around the band. And sure enough, the band's pretty quiet tonight. And uh, so I thought, well, I'm not going to get anywhere. So I thought, well, what the heck. Now I do have it which I didn't have the 750, but I have it connected to my external G5RV antenna out that's outside. So it's getting its best antenna that I got fed into it. And uh, it seems to be doing pretty good. Now let me let's see, we're going to experiment here. I haven't really tuned that much. I found out one station, and I thought, well, I better get the camera out, and let's go with it. So let's tune around here. Now, oh, before I do that, the one thing I mentioned in the part one of this about this radio, since the dial is just a zero to 100 dial, it doesn't have any frequency markings. So I was a little concerned about when I got a station knowing where I was at. Well, I got to thinking about it, and since it's a zero to 100, it's kind of a percentage of whatever band I've selected. You can select up to four different bands. So I have selected, let me go to the little book here, find the right page. I have selected band one, which is both A and B switches in, and that gives you from 5.8 to 6.4. And I noticed that I was about 45 to 50 percent on this 0 100 scale, 
So that would, if the math was right and the radio was calibrated, that means I would be about in the middle of that band. And the middle of that would band would be, the difference is 6. So half of that would be 3. So 5.8 plus 0.3 is, guess what, 6.1. And it's the station I'm listening to is at 6.115. So it's not going to be, if this holds true, it's not going to be that hard to tune a station. So let's, let's try it out. And like I say, I don't know what's going to be on tonight. Let me uh, open up my web page here and see what else is on. 5.8. Is 5? Did I say 5.8 was in that band? Yeah, right at the end. So down at the end, we may be able to get another station. Okay, let's turn the volume back up. Being careful not to leave too much audio on, so I don't get a hit for copyright. Uh, beneath that verse, I, I'm reading from verse three. The certainty that God is in control when He says. Okay, there's a Cuban station. Another, there's another Cuban station booming in. Another station. Let me, uh, let me sort uh, this web page listing of stations by frequency that will make it a little easier I had sorted by string and like I say we're on crunch down we're on the 5.8 to 6.4 so we're down at about 20 so that would probably be about 5.9 see if I see anything at 5.9 I see um, I see a couple of stations at 5.96 and 5.97. So let's turn this back up and see if we can figure out what this is. Well, I think that was in English for a minute ago. Got a jammer there. Muy loud. The Cuban stations are really coming in loud. Also confirmed China's offer of more than wow, that like US dollars in financing to Let's Venezuela. See. Same. Uh, we're at 60, or I'm calling 60%. I'm, I can see now I need to make myself a little chart so that I can take the bands that it's uh, the four bands that it can tune and put them on a chart showing. A zero to a hundred and what the different frequencies would be at say you know at the I call percent ten percent intervals so I say we're set at 60 so that would be 60 percent of the difference and like I said the difference is um, 0.6 so 60 percent of 0.6 is about um, 0.36 
So I'll say 0.4 to make it easy. So that would be 6.2 something. So let me look on my chart. 14 minutes past the hour, you've tuned to Radio Havana, Cuba. Thanks for joining oh. us on this Thursday. Tuning into the international shortwave radio frequencies of RHC. Up next. That kind of tells you what it is. Let's see. Uh, let me go my chart and see if I can verify that. I'm looking for. I don't see it on my chart. That ain't, doesn't mean it's not there. I'm just not seeing it. Oh, here it is. It's at. I said 6.2. It's at 6.165. By President Clear as a bell. In an effort to meet the needs of the population. I mean, that's coming clear as a bell. Let's, let's move on. From the municipality of Serra. And it's much easier to tune, I thought it would be. Okay, I don't hear anything else up at the top end of that band. So let's go to our next band, which is to have switch A out. So move A out. A's out. And this is 6.9 to 7.4. We'll go back to zero. Starting point. Turn the volume back up. From there, can't quite get it in. The, the concept in tuning a regenerative radio is that. In this, on this particular radio, you turn the regenerative knob all the way counterclockwise. And then you start turning it clockwise until you get that squeal. And that means you've gotten too much feedback and you back off. So let's try that. Yep. There you go. It's right there. Well, very weak station, though. There. Sounds Cuban again. Let's go on. Let me get you. Let me get to see back on the screen what I've got here. I'm not looking at my camera anymore. Okay. Ooh, we're up to 15 minutes. Well, I don't want this to run too long, otherwise it'll take forever to upload. So let's try scanning across this band real quick. There we go. As you, let me turn the sound volume down. As you can see, it's very in, uh, sensitive to, to tune. I think what I will do is uh, the knobs that the original owner put on here are all the same, all the same size. And for me, they're a little small, especially the one that's used for tuning. So I think what I want to do is I think I'm going to see if I can find 
a little bigger knob for tuning so I can get a little more uh, granularity on my tuning and or maybe the regenerative so that I can tune a little better because it it takes a little getting used to to tune it see I've gone too far there squealing so I gotta back off just a little bit a fine line another Cuban station Boy, there's a lot of Cuban stations coming in. Coming close, and then now they've announced that they're the new model for their brand new handsets. That, of course, so the the 5S and the 5C uh, that will come along with buying one of these packages. Pretty pricey, though, isn't it? That, that's loud and clear. Now let's turn this volume down. Let's see. I'm on band two, which is 6.9 to 7.4. I'm about what I'm at. 55 or 60 percent, I'll call it 60 percent. So, uh, that's five, that's 0.5 megahertz width, and 60 percent of that would be 0.3. So, if I add 0.3 to the bottom, 6.9, I get 7.2. If I look on my chart, see if there's anything at 7.2 that's strong. Yes, there is. There's a. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's at 7.260 Radio Van U2. Uh, that's probably pronouncing it wrong. It's in. Uh, it's in English. It's broadcasting in English, which it is. And it's at Port Villa, which I have no idea where that is. Let me see if it'll tell me the bearing. The bearing is 148. And 17,000 kilometers. That's pretty far away. 148 degrees. That's southeast of me. So that sounds like it's in South America, maybe? Let me see if I can see it on the uh, map on this webpage. So I'm looking for 7.60. Got so many stations, I probably can't pick it out. 7.60. Oh, the bearing is wrong because I didn't, it doesn't have my current location. So I got to move that, correct that, and now I'll go down and do a refresh. So it's going to reload the page. I thought it was going to reload the page. I guess I'll have to reload it. Okay, now there it's. I got it lined up. Let's go back down. It was 7.6. I can't find it on the map. There's too many stations on the map. But anyway, as you can see, this radio is doing a great job of reception. Um, I'm really uh, amazed at how well it's doing. It's easier to tune than I thought it would be. Like I say, I probably will get a larger knob here for the tuning. And um, so um, that's the show for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.